Hey everybody, Sandy here at Cape Montolio. We're back for round three of a Vintage League with Hogak Vine. We won the die roll. What do we think of this hand? We're on the play. Like I, I feel like we can do better. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. This one's far worse, but go get a Bayou. This is probably a really weak keep on my part, but we can top deck another land. We're in pretty good shape. This is just a mulligan on my part. I think I've just, I, I've been negligent here. Had a little bit too much wine tonight. Mm -hmm. I feel like my dredge matchup is reasonable. Down to three. I mean, that's one way I can win is if my opponent goes down to nothing and doesn't have a bizarre. But I'm not feeling very good here. This is just the wrong hand uh, against uh, dredge. But they've stopped at two. So they likely hit. Not great. Okay. Interesting. We're playing against some type of brew here. Wasteland, okay. That's rough. Hopefully they don't have a bazaar. They don't. Phew. Oh, nice. Very nice for me. Very lucky. There it is. Yep, concession. Okay, very lucky. I think my keep was extremely soft, and when I found we were playing against Dredge, I'm like, oh, Lord. But... We have a pretty nice sideboard against Dredge. Definitely want the Pesajus here. Okay, what can we cut here? I think Ley Line is very likely. I force a Vigor. Maybe we don't need four. Cut them once upon a time. I think we can cut a Ghast. We can cut a Supplier. Podcast is probably fairly weak. Okay, we're going to make two cuts. I think I'm going to cut a supplier. And I think I'm going to cut. Okay, so um, we're playing against Dredge here. We need to make one more cut. I'm just going to cut a Dryad Arbor. You know what? Dryad Ar Arbor does ambush, though, uh, Icarids. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure what's correct here exactly. The deck just feels very balanced, though. Been resilient. 
we're keeping this one for sure. There's the bazaar. Yep, pretty nice hit from them. Okay. Yeah, we're going to lose that. We're going to lose. We can't beat double hollow one for sure. Uh, how am I going to get out of a double hollow one? Yeah, double hollow one is just a little bit too much to overcome. That's pretty low prevalence that something like that happens. We're kind of going to need to hit Lotus here to get out of this. So I can go down to four, get a chump lock in, I guess. That's best, probably a Taiga. Maybe we have a chance, like depending on what my opponent has. Oh, chill, yeah, they're just, nah, I'm dead. Yeah, that makes me have to jump here. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we're on the play this time, so it should be a bit better for us. Yep. We've got the strip effect and the death rate. Can't do much better than that. Like, it's pretty solid. If I had the ley line, i feel a lot better for sure, but we don't. So they do have seven cards here, which is something to take note of. Yeah, geez, that's a nice one for them. My lord. All right. Hmm. Guess we're going to sit back on the death rate, see what they can do. Actually, you know what? You can have your creeping chill. Get rid of your dredger there. So there's your your life. Hopefully they don't have a second bazaar. This mine is good for sure. Okay, Lotus is not bad. And I don't mind having the double root wall either. We came off our death right there, but we had to do it. We're hitting hard here. They got a vigor? That's what this feels like. If they do, I'll just eat one of their 
their prized amalgams and pump one of my root walls. Okay. Death Ray Shaman is a nice one. Yeah, so this is their Vigor. We are in draw. Okay, so we're going to crack that. We're going to take an Amalgam. Crush their bridges. That's bizarre. One, two, three. One, two. That's still a substantial amount of damage coming in. We should be able to kill them next turn, I would think. It's 12, 13. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, this is just lethal for sure, right? 8, 10, 12. Oh, yeah. All right. Another good one. See you next round.